Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Mrs. E's Chickadees. I'm happy to see you today. It's Monday. We're back to school time together. I hope you had a great weekend. Did you have a great weekend? What did you do? Tell me. That sounds fun. You went outside. We went outside here at my house too. And we went on a hike. We got some donuts and it was hot. So my daughters made a slip and slide outside and they got very wet and muddy. It was really fun. Let's have fun to get together today, guys. I'm happy to see you. Stand up, let's get ready for the pledge. Outside on the porch today because it's sunny. Do you hear the birds chirping? I love that sound. I'm happy it's sunny today. Here we go. Let's stand up, right hand on your heart. Let's do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, friendies. Have a seat. Welcome back. We have a new letter today. Do you see it? It's the letter U. Let me show you the sign for you. It's super easy. Peter Pointer and Tall Man up together. U has two sounds. It says, uh, uh. I call that like the punch in the belly sound. Uh, five uh sounds, ready? Uh, 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 uh. Like in the word uh umbrella and uh uh umpire at a baseball game that says you're out. But it also says its name. Use your other hand. It says you, like in unicorn, ready? You, 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 you. You, and since we are talking about the letter U, I picked my glittery unicorn horn for my pointer today. So, ready, let's, ready, let's, let's jump right in. This week we're gonna talk, oh my ears on the face. This week we're gonna talk about frogs. I love talking about frogs. So I have some cool frog books to share with you. Should we check it out? Let's do it. The title of my book is Tadpole to Frog. This is a book about life cycles. That's how animals are born and how they live. Look at the other half of the book is egg to chicken. Isn't that funny? But we're not gonna read about chickens today. Tadpole to frog, here we go. Oh, let me look and see. I gotta look and see who the author is of this book. We'll come back to that. What is a frog? A frog is an amphibian. It spends part of its life living in water and part of its life living on Land, you're right. Amphibians lay their eggs in water. They often live in wet places, often near ponds or lakes. Look at that little froggy. Common frogs have smooth, damp skin and golden eyes. Let's do a ribbit. A ribbit. A ribbit. A ribbit. Some frogs live in wet rainforests. They're called tree frogs. Most tree frogs are much smaller than frogs that live on the ground. This tree frog's big red eyes and orange feet scare other animals away. That's a cool photo, isn't it? The story of a frog. Let's see how it starts its life. A young frog is called a, do you know what it is? Tadpole, you're right. It looks different from a frog. Freddy's, does that look like a frog? I don't think so. Frogs begin life as an egg. That looks like an egg. The amazing story of how they become adult frogs is called a life cycle. See, now our egg is growing and changing. It's not an egg anymore. Now it's called a tadpole. A frog goes through three stages in its life cycle. The first two stages are spent in water. Egg in water, tadpole in water, froggy rabbit land. Frog spawn. A female frog lays her eggs in spring. Friendies, we are in the season of spring right now. She always lays them in, what does she lay her eggs in? Water. She lays hundreds of eggs. That's a lot of eggs. Where the water is shallow. Shallow means not too deep. The eggs float on the water's surface. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Frog eggs are soft and squishy. They stick together in a big clump called frog spawn. You say it. Yeah, good job. That's a big kid word, frog spawn. The frog spawn swells and floats to the surface of the water. 
So all the baby frogs are eggs and they stick together and they float on the top of the water. Ooh, let's see what's going on inside those eggs. Look at that, Freddies. Isn't that cool? Inside the eggs. Once the eggs are laid, the adult frogs swim away. Inside each egg, a new tadpole is growing. Do you see it? These are tadpoles growing. The tadpole feeds on a small yolk in the egg and grows bigger. A female frog may lay hundreds of eggs at a time. Many eggs are eaten by fish and other pond animals, but some survive and their tadpoles keep growing. After a few weeks, the eggs hatch. They hatch sooner in warmer weather than they do in colder weather. Oh, let's see, these tadpoles are starting to grow. Tiny tadpoles, everybody hold them up. Teeny tiny tadpoles. Tadpoles are tiny when they hatch, but they quickly grow. Each tadpole has a long tail, which it uses to, what do you think it uses its long tail to do in the water? What does that tail help it to do? Swim, you're right, kiss your brain. Nice job. It has feathery gills on either side of its head. These allow the young tadpole to breathe underwater. Let's pretend we're a tadpole and let's make gills like this. And this helps us breathe. Pretend you're swimming. Nice job. To begin with, tadpoles just eat small green water plants. Later, they will also eat pond animals such as water fleas. Tadpoles grow faster when they live in warm water with plenty of food. See the gills right here? Isn't that cool? These are called labels, friendies, when you see what's in a photo. Oh, here's the big change. <gasps> Let's clap. The big change. The tadpole's going to turn into a frog. You're right. When they're about seven weeks old, tadpoles begin to change into frogs. First they grow back legs. See this? A few weeks later their gills disappear. Then they swim to the surface of the water to breathe air. Do you see how it's changing? Back legs grow first. Then the front legs start to grow. See those? And then as its legs grow longer the tail gets shorter. Frogs tails begin to shrink and their front legs begin to grow. The tadpoles now look like tiny little Frogs, you're right. By the time it's 12 weeks old, the tiny frog is about one inch or three centimeters long. That's about that long. They're tiny. Froglets. The tiny little frogs keep growing and their tails disappear. They are now called froglets. You say it. Froglets, nice job. The froglets stay in or near water. They feed on small insects, which they catch with their long, sticky, Tongues. Ooh, let's pretend we're a froglet. Are you ready? We're gonna stick our long tongue out. We're gonna catch some insects. Ready? Ooh, let's do three more. One, two, three. Oh, no, those insects are yummy. Froglets can swim, crawl, hop, and climb onto the floating leaves of lilies. Those are called lily pads. When they're bigger, the froglets move away from their pond. They find a safe place under plants where they hide. This froglet is hiding under a pitcher plant. Shh. He's hiding from predators that might want to eat him. The life of a frog. Adult frogs spend most of their time on land. They hide from animals that hunt them. We know that. Predators. Frogs rest during the day. In the evening, they hunt for insects, slugs, and worms. Frogs can make huge leaps to catch food with their long tongue. Look at this big jump he's doing, Freddy's. And there's his tongue. Many frogs have green, gray, or brown skin. They blend in with their surroundings and are hard to see. Do you know what that's called when an animal blends in with its surroundings? Camouflage. You do. Camouflage. Camouflage. You got it. Three tops in that word, camouflage. Three syllables. Camouflage helps a frog to hide from animals that want to eat it. Ladies, let's give that a regular clap. Okay, so last week I showed you how to make shapes out of Play-Doh. I have a shape song to share with you today. Ooh, that was a lot of this song. The name of my song is Meet the Shapes. Let's count these words. One, two, three. 
I have some tapes in here. Let's see which one I pull out and then I'm going to see it to you. Let's see. Ooh, what shape is that? Rectangle. You ready? Robby rectangle, Robby rectangle. I have four sides. I have four sides. Two are long, two are long, two are short, two are short. Okay, let's see who's next. Ooh, what shape is that? Square, you got it. This is Sammy Square. Here we go. Sammy Square, Sammy Square. That's my name, that's my name. I have four sides, I have four sides. They're all the same. They're all the same. Okay, let's see who's next. Ooh, you know that. Circle, this is Cindy. Cindy circle, Cindy circle. Just one line, just one line. Make it round, make it round. That is fine, that is fine. What do you think's left? Did you say triangle? This is Terry Triangle. Terry Triangle, Terry Triangle. Look at me, look at me. Count my sides, count my sides. There are three, there are three. Nice job, friendies. Thanks for singing my shape song with me. Now let's go do our circle time center. Get your body ready. I'm gonna get my own body ready. I'm gonna give you a you, you, you when you look ready. You, 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 you look ready, Freddy's. Nice job. Today is mm -mm, May, what number is that? May 4th, you got it, in the year 2020. Freddy's, can we count it? Four, easy. Get your body ready for slow clap counting. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Nice job. Now put your pattern funny goggles on, open them up. Let's see if you can find my pattern. Purple, purple, yellow, yellow. Do you know what kind of pattern that is? Let's see. A, A, B, B. What color do you think we'll have tomorrow? Hmm, let's see, let's see if you're right. Is it Sunday? That's always family time, that was yesterday. Is it mm, mm, Monday? It's Monday. Let's see what the weather is where you are. Where's it gonna land, where's it gonna land? Is it, I'm gonna do two at a time. Is it cloudy or snowy where you are? I hope not, it's beautiful where I am. Is it windy or rainy where you are? Nope, not here. It's not foggy. You know what it is where I am? Sunny. It sure is, it sure is. All right, friendies, I have a couple things for you to do today. I thought you could pretend you were froggy since we're talking about frogs. And froggies do big jumps. Big hops. So that's what I want you to practice today. I want you to pretend you're a froggy and I want you to try to do the biggest jump that you can do. So put a piece of tape in a jumping starting spot and then make a prediction how far you can jump. See if you can predict that. Then do your jump, put another piece of tape and then I want you to measure it. You can measure it in shoes. You can measure it in buttons that would be a lot of buttons or you can use a ruler and measure it in inches or centimeters your choice okay now i have another game to play today this is called number lily pad hop i just made lily pads out of green construction paper and have the kids write their names grown-ups mom and i just picked the name harper get some uh writing practice in grab a dice from any old game you have and just take turns i'm gonna go first I got a five, so I'm gonna put five buttons. We're gonna pretend these are frogs sitting on the lily pad, okay? Make your mouth match your fingers, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now it's Harper's turn. I'll pretend I'm Harper. One, this is gonna be easy. One, in every turn you take, Talk about who's got the most, who's got the least. Maybe you'll get a number that's equal, samey, same. And then when you're all done, you could count up all your buttons. I mean, frogs on your lily pads. Doesn't that sound fun? I love counting. Count me down from five while I clean up my game. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much. Let's do a little pick me up for the grownups. A place for everything and everything in its place. 
The time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Grownups, I hope you had some time this weekend to just relax and unplug and rejuvenate because you're doing a great job. Okay, friendies, let's do some positive affirmations. I am brave, you say. I am kind. I am smart. I am strong. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. Thank you for joining us at Mrs. E's Chickadees, where every little chickadee is part of my flock. See you tomorrow. Thanks.